guys, what's up? It's Heather LaBoss here. Welcome back to my art channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be comparing my different watercolor palettes. And I have a higher end one that's $100 and I have some cheaper ones. I wanted to just go out and see which one would fare the best. Which one's the fairest of them all? Do you ever have somebody in your life that's just so annoying? Anytime you're doing something cool in your life, they just have to make some nasty comment. Well, honey, the best piece of advice that I have for you is just keep doing whatever. Just do it tenfold, you know? Focus. Make sure to click that bell so uh, I don't disappear like Casper. Without further ado, let's get into this video. First up, we got Mr. Watercolor Palette that I love the most. Uh, we'll see how he does. So here's the plan. I'm gonna do one swatch with this brush and then I'm going to really go ham like I normally do and just dig in there and then give you a swatch with a lot more pigment so you can kind of get the feel of what it's gonna look like. So I'm just so excited. This I mean, we already know this already, but my colors are a little bit tainted. I'm gonna consider that Look at that. Look at that beautiful swatch. Okay, let's do this one, and this time I'm really gonna go in there and get a lot of pigment on. That's what it looks like with a thicker layer. Ooh, I love that color. This palette, honey, is so good. We'll swatch the green, it's a little bit weaker. Let's see what happens when we really dive in there. I mentioned in my last video, these Watercolors have a certain texture to them that I can't explain. I guess you could say they're a little bit more waxy instead of hard like the next palette that I'm about to show you. And I really, really dig this. I will say the black on this one is so-so. It's not, I don't know, it's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Mmm, I'm not happy with that at all. Okay, no wonder why I don't use this brown. Just that is, tell me that's not a beautiful freaking purple. Oh my goodness. I'm impressed with this yellow. It's better than I thought it was gonna come out, that's for sure. Okay, I cut you off on this one, sadly, but there's the red. <laughs> As I thought, ended up doing pretty good, if I don't say so myself. The next palette is my Angora palette that is really dirty. Well, they're all really dirty. We already knew this. Move through some of these a bit quicker. Okay, so there's your red. I really have to dig in there if I want a really nice color. It just shows up. See, it doesn't even, I don't know. Don't get me wrong though, I really love using these if I'm using them on top of color pencil or if I'm drawing on top of them with color pencil. But in general, if you're trying to paint a picture, it's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge. In this company, Angora, I'm not trying to come for you, just, you know pointing it out. If I push this sunsetty color, it looks really pretty. Ooh, there we go. If you push it hard, push it, shake my table. You can just tell all the ones that are my favorite because they're all gone, basically. Let's see what this purple's made of. Mm, I'm not sure about that one. I am pressing these a little bit harder, so... This is a little bit unfair because I am swirling my paintbrush around a little bit more. Weak, weak sauce, ah. Oh. Again though, it's sometimes not always a bad thing if it looks like this and you're doing mixed media work and you just want a little dash of colors. I think we can all agree though that these are 10 times better than the Crayola ones that we used when we were kids. No shade Crayola. I mean, you know what, actually shade. Those watercolors suck. I like your markers though. I really love these more neutral colors in this palette a lot. Look at that. That is gorgeous, beautiful. You ever go out and buy an eyeshadow palette and you think, oh, look at all these colors, they're so beautiful. And then you put it on and you can't even get it on your eyelid. It just flakes off and freaking pan lied to you and there's no color at all. That's how I feel about these colors over here. Yeah, you know what, I still use them. That looks good. Maybe I should just use that for a sky and put white on top of it. Yeah, no. What is that? Overall, not bad though. I'm actually kind of impressed. I thought this was gonna be weaker than it was, so this surprised me. Last but not least, we got my Rolls Royce palette, my Winsor & Newton set, and this one is <laughs> expensive. The 
Yes, I know, this is a mess. It's, it's really bad, but we're gonna give this a go. Here, this palette is expensive as heck. And if I compare these swatches to the ones over there, and they're not looking as crisp and good, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a problem. Okay, now if I, I really don't go ham on these ones because they are, you know, their weight in gold. So I try not to go too crazy. So I'm not, oh, I'll just go a little bit crazier. Just for you guys, I will try to go a little bit more ham. But as you can see, I don't have to really press that hard in order to get a nice color, which is the way it should be. Baby, look at that color payoff. Well, I just wrecked that there, but it did look good. They're not bad. I think what's so special about these is they blend really nicely. Uh, you know what? I think this is a little bit of an unfair comparison because when I was going into these palettes, I was really digging in. And when I'm going in this palette, I'm kind of just being a little bit more gentle. God, that is one beautiful blue color right there. And I really just barely dipped that in there. I did not scrub into the palette. Let's see what happens when I scrub. Oh god, that is so beautiful. That is a nice sunny color right there. Alright, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let all of these dry first completely and then we're going to do a little comparison test. Alright, they're dry for the most part, so let's go back to swatch set number one. I think they held up pretty well. I know the colors aren't necessarily going to be everybody's cup of tea because they are, you know, more on the basic side, but, I mean, this is a really good palette. Now let's go on to our next little area of swatches. Can you guys even see this? Am I just botching the camera? Of course I am. As you can see from these swatches, uh, you know, some of them are just, you know, they just don't show up very well, but it depends on your preference. Maybe you like that. I don't know. Maybe you're into not so pigmented watercolors. As you can see, some of the swatches where I really went in and I just added a lot more pigment, it just makes these weird shapes. And that's what happens when you use the lower end. Watercolors, they just do weird things. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But I think a lot of people would still really like this palette because there's so many colors to choose from. Now for our grand finale, let's go look at the Winsor & Newton $100 palette. I, you know, I think this is my own fault for this. I didn't really go in as much for some of these swatches, so that's my own doing. Uh, I still think this is a great palette, and the beauty with these is they do blend well when you're actually working on a piece as opposed to this Angora palette. I don't know, they don't, these ones don't blend as easily. I have to admit, I did botch the Winsor Newton swatches a little bit. I think I got a little bit tired when I was <laughs> going through the video. I'm sorry, guys. But if we're comparing the way that I swatched the Winsor & Newton versus the Angora palette, I had to dip in so much and really scrub to get color for this palette over here versus this one where I really just dipped it very lightly. So just keep that in mind. I hope that you enjoyed this little swatch test, but which one did you personally like the most? Which palette would you pick? I don't know. I like all of them, personally, for different reasons. My camera's dying because it's a personal. Uh, I'm gonna go. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other watercolor related videos or art tutorials in general that you would like to see on this channel, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Mwah.